Welcome to the A200, A2000 Fiber Analyzer webinar. This is the analytical session, and at this time we'll discuss possible reasons for low and high fiber results. First of all, let's talk about why you might be getting low fiber results. By far the most common reason for low fiber results is that the sample has been ground too finely. All of the official methods call for a grind of a sample at 2 millimeters in a centrifugal or UD retch mill or a 1 millimeter screen in a knife mill like a Wiley. The F57 filter bag has a porosity of 25 microns and it has been designed to capture particles that are ground at the sizes we just discussed. However, if the samples are ground too finely, the F57 does have difficulty containing the finer particles. So if you have fine particles escaping the bag during the digestion, then obviously low fiber values will be the result. In addition, you're going to have these particles floating around in the digestion vessel and they will become attached to other filter bags, including any blank bags that may be in the vessel. As a result, your blank bag will actually be heavier after the run than it was prior to starting the run. And this is actually a clue for you that if that's the case, you do have at least one sample that has been ground too finely. The thing that makes it even worse is that with the calculation, the higher your blank bag correction factor is, the lower the fiber value is. So it actually uh, adds to the problem of the low fiber value. Now the suggestion would be that if the proper grinding is not an option because you need to grind samples for other uh, analyses, then the F58 filter bag would be the ideal choice uh, because it has an average porosity of 8 microns versus the 25 micron porosity of the F57. Secondly, after the sample's been placed inside the bag, if the bag's not completely sealed, then obviously you will lose sample during the digestion if, if not before the digestion. So it's important to make sure that the bag is sealed correctly. And if you're using our, fil uh, our heat sealer, then the filter bags can be sealed normally between four and five setting on the dial on the heat sealer. A second cause of, or actually third cause of low results is the broken side or bottom seam of the bag which allows the sample to escape. Uh, we rarely, if ever, see this with an F57 filter bag. However, when we were developing the F58 bag, we did find that about 10% of the uh, filter bags failed and we would have uh, side seam breakage. However, uh, since we've developed the little dots, if you will, the point seals that you can see in the picture below, inside the outer seam, the breakage of the seams in the F58s is really very rare. The last cause of low values is when an ADF or crude fiber digestion is run for a longer time than called for in our procedures. The, uh, both the acid and base solutions will continue to solubilize the sample uh, over time. We do call for 40-minute digestion for each of the acid and base solutions in the crude fiber, and we call for a one-hour digestion in the acid detergent. Uh, with the A200 fiber analyzer, it certainly is very important that the technician come back to the instrument in the appropriate time frame to end that particular digestion. 
uh, with the A2000, of course, the instrument has the time automatically set. And unless you're running a custom mode with the A2000, this should not be an, a problem uh, of over-digestion. Now let's talk about why you might be getting high fiber results. And there are a number of issues that are possible here. First of all, not enough motion in the bag suspender. The up and down motion of the bag suspender should be at least 1.2 centimeters or half an inch. And also, the bag suspender should move up and down uh, between 64 and 65 times in one minute. So you should check that on a fairly regular basis. I would think every month would be a good time frame uh, to check it, depending on how active the fiber analyzer is. Uh, in both cases, there is a technique for checking uh, the issues and what to do if you find that one of these two uh, levels are, are not correct. Uh, going to our website for the A200 slash A2000 service procedure section. Solution is not heated sufficiently. Uh, if the instrument is not coming up to temperature, even though the controller on the outside of the instrument indicates that the temperature is correct, the solution may not be at temperature, so it should be checked. And again, the boil test can be found at the uh, A200, A2000 service procedure section of our website. With a neutral detergent run, failure to use both or either alpha amylase or sodium sulfite uh, will cause higher results. As you undoubtedly know, the amylase helps to solubilize the starch and the sodium sulfite breaks down the disulfide or protein bonds in the samples during the digestion. Uh, without either of these two additions, then uh, you will get artificially high results if the digestion does not run long enough. And of course, this is exactly the opposite of running the digestion for too long a time. But if the digestion is not run uh, for the 40 minutes with the two crude fiber uh, solutions, or actually uh, neutral detergent an hour and 15 minutes and one hour for the acid detergent, then the samples will not be fully solubilized uh, and the high fibers, again, will be the result. With a neutral detergent or acid detergent, any samples that are greater than 5% fat content or with crude fiber, all samples need to be pre-treated with solvent to defat the samples. Uh, in, in our procedures, we call for acetone to be used for the uh, detergents. We call for petroleum ether to be used for crude fiber. Uh, obviously, too much fat in the sample or any fat in the sample with crude fiber are, is going to inhibit the digestion of the sample and create higher results. If the samples at the end of the digestion are not sufficiently dried, uh, and this can happen if the samples are not dried long enough, and we do call for two hours, or if the setting on the oven uh, is not high enough, and, and we do call for 100 to 105 degrees C. If, if all the moisture is not removed, then the, the way back weight will be higher than it should be. Next is the incorrect or lack of use of the desiccant pouch. And, and it could be the, the, the pouches are being used properly, but the packets are not renewed, or even pouch conditions are very poor. This is probably one of the, the key reasons for high results. We, we find that people will use a regular desiccator, whether it be a countertop desiccator or a cabinet desiccator that they use for other purposes. And what we find is that when you have so many filter bags that you have removed from the oven and placed into the countertop or the cabinet desiccator, every time you open the door 
of the cabinet desiccator or remove the lid of the countertop desiccator, you're introducing moisture to the filter bags that remain in that desiccator. By the time you get halfway through, you have introduced enough moisture that the remaining bags that are still in the desiccator will have gained weight and, again, will have an artificially high fiber value. We have found really that a Ziploc bag with desiccant packets inside allow the user to press the air out of the bag once a filter bag has been removed and therefore uh, eliminating the additional moisture uh, from the ambient air uh, to get inside and affect the filter bags that remain. So it's really important to use a desiccant pouch and to use it well. Uh, making sure also that the little packets that are in the desiccant pouch are renewed. Uh, you can place them in the oven uh, maybe once a month, uh, depending again on, on use, uh, at 100 to 105 degrees for a few hours. That will renew the, the little packets. And in addition to that, making sure that your Ziploc bag is in good condition. And if you do find that your Ziploc bag has a hole in it or, or holes in them, uh, then certainly you can replace them. And we would suggest replacing them with a freezer Ziploc bag because the plastic is, is much thicker. If the rinse water is not hot enough, the uh, sample will, again, give you higher results. During the digestion, any of the non-fibrous components uh, may be solubilized, but not completely washed from the bag. If the rinse water is not hot enough, the components may precipitate back into the bag uh, or never be removed from the bag. Uh, so again, you're, you're going to be weighing back a, a sample that is, has too much weight. The temperatures for the rinse waters are at least 70 degrees for detergents and at least 50 degrees uh, for crude fiber. People ask us, well, can I use boiling water? And, and the answer to that would be certainly yes, uh, that's fine. If the acetone is re reused in the post-digestion soaking of the bags, the acetone will become if you will, waterlogged and not be able to do a good job at removing the water from the samples as they're soaked after the digestion. And will not be able to effectively remove any fat that remains in the bags and in the samples after the digestion. If the filter bags are sealed lower than the upper four millimeters, uh, it, it really is important to recognize that there's a specific bag size to sample size ratio. And if you seal the bag too low, then that is going to change the ratio and make it very difficult to spread the sample out in the bag well enough to get good solution flow during the digestion. And of course, if this occurs, the digestion will be less than expected uh, and will cause higher values. The same thing happens if there's too much sample in the bag. Again, you've affected that sample size to bag size ratio. And again, it will be difficult for the solution to flow through during the digestion. And finally, if the, the sample's not spread out in the bag well enough, again, making it more difficult for the solutions to flow through the sample and to create a full digestion. Some of the general analysis problems that may, you may find, uh, the one we see during the winter time when we ship, uh, especially the neutral detergent, the chemicals can precipitate out of solution with cold weather. So if this occurs, then the solution is going to appear either really, really milky or slightly cloudy. And of course, the solution should be completely clear. Uh, this can happen with the concentrate of the uh, F, what we call the FAD20 uh, acid detergent concentrate also. Um, 
in this case, the chemicals can be brought back into solution by heating and stirring the solution. Be sure not to use any of the detergent solutions until they are completely clear. Uh, in some cases, someone has may have modified the settings of the A200 or A2000 temperature controller, which, of course, can cause improper heating. Uh, we do have information on resetting or recalibrating the controllers available on our website. And improper calculation of the blank bag correction or using the wrong values in the formula will, will produce incorrect fiber values. It's surprising how often we've had folks who have been getting bad values and they'll call or they'll email and, and they find out that their calculations are incorrect. If you have an issue with your Excel, you believe your, your calculations are not good, uh, then give us a call or, or send us an email and we can send you out a template uh, for actually for any of our analyses.